Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to slow down a 120 frame per second video shot from a GoPro Hero 2 uh, and use it into iMovie using totally free software. Uh, I paid for nothing uh, of this, and you can download it for free. And I'll show you how as well. Okay, so first, what you're going to do is find your uh, clip that you'd like to slow down. Open it up in QuickTime Player. Now, this one's 19 seconds long. We could do the whole clip if we want to. Uh, I'll show you the, the raw footage here. Okay, yeah, the way it's just people jumping across the rock. We'll capture that one there. So uh, if we want to do the whole thing, we could just import that directly into uh, GoPro Cineform Studios, uh, but we won't. I'll show you how to trim it down with uh, QuickTime. Okay, stop it there. On the front end, on the back end, just capture the sky landing. This is Pugs Nighthawk. Okay, trim it. Now save that trim file, uh, just in the same folder there. Okay, you can close that out now. Okay, now we'll go to, uh, like I said, GoPro uh, Cineform Studio. You can download directly from their website. In fact, you have to to update your firmware. Um, it's the same software and it works well. Uh, click on Import New File. Select that file you just trimmed up. Okay, it shouldn't be long. You yeah, have two seconds, uh, 58 100s. Select it. Uh, you can see here the uh, resolution and the frames per second. So we got uh, typical uh, GoPros 120 frames per second always records in 848 by 480. Uh, so we'll just open that up here. And you'll see it's just that small clip. Okay. How do we change it? Go to advanced settings, quality up to high, obviously. Uh, keep the image size the same and source. So instead of 120 uh, frames per second, you can select any of the following here. Uh, for some reason, one, two seconds per frame, and five seconds per frame are always grayed out on my computer. I have not figured that out. If you figured out, uh, respond to the video and let me know. So we'll select 10 and just add to conversion list. So you could essentially stack a bunch of videos up over here waiting to convert just, uh, and never do a multiple one. So it's going to slow that two second clip down to 29 seconds and it's going to look pretty good too. Okay, proceed to step two. Select the video that you just converted over here on the left and we'll take a look at it. I'm not sure if it, I don't think it does any optical flow. I think it's just the, uh, the native frames in the resolution that you're recording. Um, there's no processing here. So it really works for 120 frames per second. Anything less than that, you might see a little choppiness, but you can just uh, speed it up a little bit if you want to. It works way better than iMovie in that iMovie takes out three out of every four of those frames, and you see it jumping from uh, fourth frame to fourth frame. Uh, it looks like crap. Uh, so if you just do this, export it, and then import it, export it from uh, GoPro Cineform Studios, and import it into iMovie, it'll look way better. Uh, a couple things to change first, playback, full resolution, make your picture look better. Uh, this is a software is for 3D rendering. Uh, so that's why it's got left eye, right eye, all that crap. Um, I don't use it because I don't have the 3D GoPro. A couple other things you can zoom here uh, horizontal zoom. You can also do a dynamic. Uh, you don't need any of that stuff. You can do that pretty well in iMovie as well. Okay, so we'll export this uh, .mov the same place. And let it run to the movie. This is the best free way to do it that I found. There's a couple other paid options. You can use Adobe uh, Final Cut, I think it is, or uh, no Final Cut Pro or Adobe After Effects. Sorry, with Twixter and then Final Cut Pro with uh, Motion. So those are all you know three four hundred bucks. Okay, so you don't need that anymore. Now you're going to open up iMovie. I already got a different one open here. Let's see. What else put in the bottom? 
Okay, now you're going to import that clip you just did. So import movies. Uh, I'll add it to my slow motion clips folder. I'll optimize, make sure you go full original size so it doesn't crop it. And then move file. If you copy, it's just going to uh, create the file twice on your computer, take up your hard drive faster. So move it uh, over to where you're looking. And then select it, of course. Okay, so slow motion clips uh, should be down here at the bottom. 29 second long clip. Uh, just drag and drop the whole thing up into your uh, workflow, your movie. And you'll see it's, uh, like I said, not jumpy like it normally would be if you slowed it down with iMovie itself. A couple things you can do to it now that's an iMovie if you don't want the whole thing to be slowed down. Uh, what if we want to get to his jump? Just select the portion that you want not slowed down. Come to Edit, Split Clip. That portion will still be selected. Click on the uh, inspector uh, and speed that up. Um, 10 frames per second, you speed up to 400, that's about real-time video. Uh, when you speed up in GoPro, or sorry, in iMovie, it doesn't have the same frame jumping, uh, at least it's not noticeable. When you slow it down, that's when it starts looking like crap. So speeding up will be fine. We'll do the same thing on the back side. Okay, here's how it looks now. I guess you could even speed up a little bit more on this one. Let's try 650. better. <clears throat> okay, and that's how you do it. Uh, you can just uh, export it from there uh, as a typical iMovie uh, export. Uh, pretty easy and it's free.